Time now, 647. Let's get to your news in a flash. Happening now, a man accused of allegedly killing a Rockford teen more than 30 years ago gets released from jail on bail after spending nearly two years behind bars. Court records show Jesse Smith posted 10% of his bond of 50 grand. Smith is expected back in court on May 13th. In the meantime, police put the final suspect in last week's shooting behind bars. All four men now in custody over the death of an 18-year-old. Police arrested Sean Davis in connection to the death of Devontae Simmons at Pleasant View Avenue. Davis, as well as Kenneth Alexander, Marquise Alexander, and Angela Woods, now all charged with first-degree murder. Another Rockford man behind bars this morning in connection with a deadly shooting of a 24-year-old back in 2020 near Auburn and Rockton. U.S. Marshals finding Zion Jones in Dallas, Texas, before bringing him back to Winnebago County Jail. And turning to the crisis in Ukraine, two major developments. Russia claiming a humanitarian corridor will open from the city of Mariupol. Uh, where an estimated 100,000 people have been trapped with little food, water, or electricity for weeks. Meantime, Russian forces handed back control of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant after holding the site since February. And the crisis hits close to home as a local pastor confirming a Ukrainian church with ties to Rockford has been bombed. These are the before and after images of church in a city just a few hours south of the city of Kiev in Ukraine. It was started by First Covenant Sister Church in the city of Kalinovka. And looking ahead today, the deadline, well today is the deadline for the 2022 Rockford Community Action Garden Grants. Those programs are for anyone interested in learning gardening skills or assisting people in growing fresh produce to promote healthier lifestyles. You can find the link to the application on our website, mystateline.com. Well, in the meantime, you have less than two weeks to apply for another deadline to become part of Rockford's new board overseeing complaints and investigations between residents and police. Applications are due to the mayor's office online or in person by April 15th. And starting today, you can get an early bird special for Old Settlers Day. Rockton Lions Club announcing the lineup this year. The festival takes place between June 16th and June 19th. That's your, that's your news in a flash.